What's going on anyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and today I'm here to give you guys an unboxing of another headset. This time it's the Pulse Wireless Stereo Headset Elite Edition which is an official Sony licensed product. Now this headset here normally as you can see on the box says PlayStation 3. However, Sony did confirm that after you've installed the 1.50 update on the PlayStation 4, this headset and the standard version will work with the PlayStation 4 system, which is why I got the headset. Now, I got this on Amazon for about $100, which is $50 cheaper than the current price. This normally retails for the price of $150, and the regular edition is about $100. Now, in terms of what's the difference between the regular and this one, I don't really know because I never owned a Pulse headset. So this is my first time owning not only a wireless headset, but the Pulse headset, which has been getting a lot of great reviews from many reviewers out there. Now over here, here's the front of the box. It's, uh, it says featuring 7.1 virtual surround sound and bass impact official Sony licensed product. Over here, it has the contents of which are included. Here is the very back side. You could also, because it comes with a cable, so you could use this with your PlayStation Vita or any MP3 style devices, uh, which I think is a really cool addition. On the back over here, I'm just gonna quickly read off. It says, fill the sound with bass impact, 7.1 virtual surround sound, noise cancellation mic for crystal clear communication, on-screen headset updates, modes optimized for selected game genres, movies, and music, and perfect for, for wired use with mobile devices. So that's the front once again. So let's go ahead and open this up. There is a little tab back here, but I first need to cut that off. And of course, I will be testing the headset out and reviewing for you guys. Uh, there are basically two reasons why I got this, actually about three. One, it's wireless. I never had a wireless headset. The other reason is because I got it for a good deal on Amazon. And the fact that it's bass impact heavy, which I like a lot of bass, so I mean, it's hopefully fit my needs. So let me just take this out. And this box is actually really light. I was afraid there was nothing in here. But there's actually something in here after all. So there it is, empty box. So let's see what we get here. So we get the, um, the core that comes with this. So you could use this for your Vita, MP3, um, devices, iPod, whatever you want to use it for, you have that. You also have the instruction booklet. Say right here, it says PS3, but it has been confirmed. You could use this with PS4. So let's go ahead and take these out. Pretty much simple to it. There's not really too much into it. There's actually a little USB thing in here too. So this is for your wireless. So you connect it to your console. I'll have to see how it works with the PS4. Should be fairly simple. So there's that. And the main headset itself. Looks really good and it looks comfortable. I can't wait to try it on. A lot of plastic. There we go, now we got everything out. So there it is, looks really cool. You got some plastic. I think I'm just gonna leave that there for now. But right here it says wireless stereo headset. Um, I thought that was a button at first, but it has the PlayStation logo. On the other side it says the same thing. Um, it has for your ear, so this will be for the right ear, and this will be for the left ear. And in terms of the microphone, Let's see what they got here. There's some switches over here. So it says surround. So I guess right here you could adjust the surround sound and the voices. You got the power switch over here. This is where you connect uh, to charge it with. Uh, now in order to charge it, you actually use the same cable that comes with your PlayStation 3 controller. It doesn't come with a charging cable at all, uh, which is pretty much common with Sony products for whatever reason. But, uh, you know, it's pretty much like that. And this is where you plug in the... Uh, the adapter right here. On the other side, you have VSS on or off. Here you have your different modes and the same switch right here. So it looks like you could kind of adjust the uh, the base for both ears because there's two switches right here I'm dragging across with my fingers. Now in terms of the actual microphone, um, let's see, where is the microphone? 
I'm not sure if this is a pullout one or something. Wait, no, it, I don't think it's a chat headset. I think it's uh, just for listening in. Yeah, it's not a chat headset. That's why it doesn't have a microphone. So never mind about the microphone. Uh, but overall, I think this is pretty cool because half the time no one uses a microphone on the PlayStation anyways. So the fact that this will have really good audio overall, I think is really cool. So let me go ahead and try this on really quick. Well, the fact that I can't hear any outside noise is a good thing. And also, too, it's really comfortable. Uh, I thought this was going to be kind of funky, but uh, the pads feel really good on the ears. Uh, better than my previous headset. The top, there's some padding, but overall, this feels really comfortable. I can't wait to actually try this out with my games. But anyways, that is the headset itself. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. And remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.